We had been dis discussing and learning about dividing fractions and it was actually fairly easy for the students to start uh, just inverting and multiplying. That was very easy, but I didn't think they had a very good understanding of what dividing fractions actually was. So I tried to devise a lesson that would allow them to go through all of the steps and prove their algorithm. Now to do the algorithm, that's the easy way, isn't it? But we want to really think about this in a different way. We want to be able to create something that will prove the algorithm. Developing a problem, taking it into kind of a story, and then taking it to the next step, making a three-dimensional model. Then I divided it into seven, eight, and then I took an eight away from the eight to make seven of it. Now I'm working on the four. I actually really enjoy making 3D dimensional shapes. Then you can see the problem. It's not so flat. You can see, see what it looks like under it or over it. You can touch it, you can feel what it would what it would actually feel like if in real life. Four, and then we'll use this one to make it eight. In a classroom that um, supports higher order thinking skills and supports the learning and teaching of those skills, it is not going to be a quiet worksheet oriented classroom. It is frequently noisy. Children love sharing their ideas with one another. I like being able to show my math because then they would know what I got and then how I got it and then they would know if I got it right or wrong. Because it would add too much. And then these go in between. It's important to, for the students to ask questions to test to see if they can back up their answer and defend it. Other than knowing that they just did it and they can't, can't state, state it so that they know, they really know it. They were able to discuss with one another. They had to analyze each other's ideas. They had to prove to each other that their vision, their model, was correct. You cut it in half, how do you know it's 3 eight? Because right here, oh, really? I order thinking skills are imperative for children to learn if they're going to be successful academically, socially, um, in the job market. I understood it better by creation. I could create stuff with my clay. Evaluating, the teacher asked us to defend our problem and understanding my partner. And I had different solutions of doing the problem and we both learned a new way. We have to know how to look at a problem, take information, look at it in another way, be creative with it, um, come to different conclusions. So I think it's very important at even a very young age we start modeling that and teaching that and integrating it into our classroom so that our children use those skills and it becomes second nature to them.